Hi, my name's Sean Rowe. And this is my TikTok. Should I do it? Should I, should I do it? Oh, oh yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going for it. Oh, what? Who needs COVID when you got clout? Well, I guess if it's the new thing. Hi there. As a TikTok influencer, I'm here to spread the word of challenges and to give y'all clout. What is clout? Well, clout is just a number based off of ones and zeros. The more you have, the more internet fame, the more people like you. Who needs real affection when you have internet friends? The premise is simple. I'm going to show you various challenges you can do. The whole point is to see how long you can potentially survive. Now, I say potentially because I'm not held reliable. I'm just spreading the word of pranks. And really, it's all about just having fun. Join me on this video and replicate for yourself, as you can imagine, the amount of likes, shares, posts that you will get on TikTok. You would essentially be an internet celebrity. This one here is called the oven challenge. And really, it's just quite simple, and I'm going to show you. So I like to set the oven up to about, oh, I don't know, 455 degrees. The extra 5 degrees really does matter from time to time, especially during the holidays when family's over. Alright, so you want to approach this at like a flat angle, like 180 degrees, because again, the whole point is to survive this, but if you die, that's okay. Uh, for extra clout points, you want the grill marks to be on the side of your cheek. And as you're laying here, try not to pay so much attention to the sizzling of your skin. I know it's gonna smell pretty bad, but again, if you, su if you survive, you can do what other people have been doing, and like, just pretend you're a Holocaust survivor. So just be in here for about 10 to 12 minutes, trying to get that nice toasty feel. You should come out with about third degree burns, but that's okay, it depends on where it is. You might be able to survive. And if you have so, well, congratulations, you got more cloud points. All right, let's move on to the next challenge, okay? All right, so the next challenge is the bathtub challenge. Now, that might be kind of simple at first, you know, but it got me really thinking, what if we electrify this event? Because I remember back in high school that in one of the textbooks we read, there's actually these electrolytes in you. Now, I don't know how they get little lightning strikes in like the Gatorades or even us, but to me that just seems like we're a lightning rod. So I figured, you know, after doing some Google searching and, you know, maybe talking to my astrology professor, I realized we're immune to electricity. So I got the water in and I got me my yummy yummy toaster and uh, well, let's see what happens. Okay, so follow me. Step one, drop it. Oh, howdy viewer, great to have you back. You know, such a beautiful day on TikTok. I just want to, you know, put something else on. Maybe something light for the old festive mood that we're in. It's a beautiful day on TikTok. It's a beautiful day on the platform. But won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Stan. All right, on to the asphyxiation challenge. Again, the whole point of this is to see how long you can go without breathing. Now for me, I can do about 20 seconds, but then after that, I don't know, I start to get a little dizzy. So you want to stand on a high edge, maybe a chair or a table, and you do not want to jump off, just simply fall off, if that makes sense. Again, if it becomes too much, then you can try and take it off, but then you're just going to look like a pussy, okay? So I'm going to show you right now how it's going to be. So first, what you want to do is...